Go Boys NFL previews. It's time to discuss the New York Giants. We'll get into season win totals, futures, awards. Josh, I think the last time we saw the Giants, they were getting destroyed in Philadelphia. The Philadelphia Eagles might still be scoring touchdowns somewhere in Pennsylvania. Josh, what's going on, man? Dude, you know what I didn't realize? You know who they beat the week before? That was your team. Yes. Uh, I'm pretty my sure. Fraud, my fraudulent loser team, the Minnesota Vikings. Absolutely. That was our Super Bowl, baby. That was, I mean, but look, we, we both know that when the Giants play the Vikings in the playoffs, it's not going to go well for the Vikings. That's pretty much how it's been going forever at this point. Since the 41 nothing shellacking that Moss and company took years back. But that was our Super Bowl. I, I was so numb for that Philly game. I could not care any less. This year... I feel like we're coming in with some expectations and that makes me nervous, but like in day bowl, we trust. And that's what I keep coming back to, to like sort of quell my anxieties. I remember last year doing a preview of the giants and I said, Oh my God, by, by the time I really dug into it, it's like, boy, this schedule is so easy. There's actually okay. a path for them to be decent. And then the Titans miss a field goal week one at the buzzer Giants steal that game with a two point conversion uh -huh. Carolina the next week, a 50, 50 game. They steal that. And then you got a bunch of AFC South, NFC South, a of bunch course. of cupcakes. You get nine wins. You win the division. Dable coach of the year. Win a playoff game. Or not win the division. Make the playoffs. Win, yeah. a, win a playoff game. This year, after digging into it, the schedule yeah. is the exact opposite. Yeah. Uh, under seven and a half to me is a bet. The only reason I didn't bet it, um, and, and I probably will add it, is because I missed the eight. There was an eight out there. But when you look yeah. at the schedule, minus 190, you missed the playoffs. This team is not going to the playoffs. Dable's a good coach, but he doesn't play. And if you just go through the schedule, it's uh, obviously the Cowboys and the Eagles twice. You get the AFC East. You get a lot of good teams. And yeah. I just look all the things with Barkley Jones. Can he do it again? He's also had trouble staying healthy, which I think people are forgetting uh, yeah. other than last year. So to me, this is an under, I want no part of this team doing anything positive. I think they take a major, major step back this year. I mean, should we just wrap there? I don't really want to talk about it. anymore. <laughs> no, I mean, you had to bring in the, you had to bring up the 41 on. nothing in the playoff game last year. So, you know, yeah, what? that was on you me. Yep. Touchdown. I started this yeah. off with tension. You're right. I, you're, I, I cannot disagree with anything you're saying. I think there, I think it was pretty not transparent, but it was, it was projectable that last year was going to go the way it did to your point about the schedule. Um, the, the ball bouncing the right way a couple times helped. Yes. I mean, that, that, that Bengal or Bengals, the Titans game being like the most prominent example this year, I still think they're like priced pretty correctly. I don't think they're, they fooled odds makers enough for me to go, wait a second. This is so overblown and overvalued. Like the first 10 games they play, though, there's two games that I'm like, yeah, you should win those. And then eight that I'm like, man, I hope you can win like three of those eight. Right. And so that's where it's like if they start five and five and I'm very happy with it, honestly. And and that might not that that would be enough to get you, I think, over the seven and a half because it gets a smidge easier after that, even though you still have to play all those AFC East teams still. Um, but I, man, like as far as the win total goes they're projected in a lot of places at like eight, eight, a little bit more than eight, like eight is the, the more common projection for their win total, you know, according to things like strength of schedule combined with, you know, who's on their roster and things like that. So let's just bring it up though. Worst record plus 2,900. Is that something you could, that you could talk me into it and you got Arizona who's one of your competitors for that record for that, uh, that award or that, and you got him week two and you got him in Arizona. So that could be a swing game where Arizona gets one of their wins. You get a loss and who knows Jones gets hurt. He runs a lot. Uh, there's not a lot behind him. Uh, and again, you just look at it this way. You get the Cowboys and the Eagles combined four times. If you go own four, like you did last year, let's say you split versus Washington. That puts you at one and five. You still have to play Seattle. You have to play San Fran, the AFC East. It's just a nightmare schedule. Plus yeah. you get nine road games being in the NFC with the unbalanced schedule. One of those home games, like we talked about in the Jets preview, one of those home games, quote unquote, is against the Jets. So you really only have seven home games. You can make the case, yeah. hey, it's 10 on the road. It's really it's seven, nine That's and one point. neutral. So not a good schedule in any aspect. I'm getting talked into it myself. I'm going to be honest with you because I watched every Giants game last year and every single game was like we walk away going, how the hell did we win that game? We were losing the entire game. Right. We haven't had a turnover in four weeks of football, right? Like we, we're giving up big play after big play on the running the smoke game. and mirrors. Oh, That's why he won coach of the year. Cause he did exactly it with smoke what it and was. Mirrors. And the ball bounced the freaking right way, man. Like there's, there was six, you know, six wins essentially that you could sort of like go either way on last year. They're, they are literally a pitcher who is just throwing meatballs out there and just hit, they're getting hit right to the outfielders. Yes. And you're going, wow, he's only got a two, eight ERA. It's like, yeah, he should have a five, two ERA. Right. And that's what they right. are right now. So, I mean, they didn't get 
better in the places that they needed to. They still don't have any weapons. They did trade for Waller, a third-round pick. He's another guy who's always hurt. I mean, but you look at those weapons, man. If he's not healthy, which he, he rarely is, rarely. there's not a lot in there trouble. in terms of receivers. It's just, there's just not a lot there. It's, it's nasty on the defensive side of the ball, but Isaiah Hodgins is our number one wide receiver. Do with that what you will. I, it's, it's, there's, there's nothing to go on there. And for, for Daniel Jones, like that, this does spell injury for him because it's, it's not like, look, it, I don't want to say like he got lucky not getting hurt last year, but just as much, if not more so this year, they're not going to have options when he drops back to pass. I mean, he, the best option is a, is, a, is a sneak for him at that point, or, you know what I mean? A, a scurry. So uh I, i'm really one for it. mvp for mac jones is just a joke i'm for, sorry for daniel, for daniel jones it's just a joke oh it's my insane goodness. i mean that's just that, the, that's that's a problem with the mvp market honestly right yes. it's just like there's no you short pay everything yeah so um no for 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 this team like i don't know maybe i still can't get next to like a defensive player of the year award for anybody on the defensive line like Kayvon thibodeau is their mm -hmm. most uh their, their highest um price there in terms of plus was 55 to one for Kayvon to win defensive player of the year because you know he's the guy that he had a couple games last year he had like three sacks and that got him up you know to double right. digits and obviously Leonard Williams uh and everyone inside is, is getting all of the attention um and then obviously Dexter Lawrence is back as well if we can stay healthy so those two dudes are going to get all of the uh of the attention and then you you think Kayvon can sneak in for some sacks because he's a top two defensive end on most teams in this league as well playing what as like number are we seeing middle. him I'm going to look at him now 55, 55 to, one. to one yeah I need more than that. I mean, I, yeah, honestly, there's not a lot of awards markets. I like, I hit Dable coach of the year last year. I was very vocal about it. He has no chance to win the award back to back years. Yeah. We have no MVP candidate. We have no offensive player of the year candidate. No, the money's um, in fading them as hard as you can. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't see an offensive rookie of the year candidate, defensive rookie of the year. Who knows? Somebody can come out of nowhere and win it. But to, to, to me, there's nothing comeback player Was of the there a year. Miss playoffs because I mean, the make playoffs is like plus 185. Might be still something on miss play though. Uh, miss, I saw the best. The other, I, I'm looking at minus 190 at DraftKings to miss, which is reasonable for me. It's minus 230 at Fandle. To me, minus 190, it's not sexy, but I, I would just take the miss because you could just say, why don't you just take under seven and a half? Well, if you get to eight and nine, it goes over, but you're still probably going to miss the playoffs at eight and nine. So, yeah. Uh, and again, you have to throw in the factor of a tie here, which which, which would help your under, but. And, I just and my, they're not making the playoffs. And we're not talking about the commanders, but they're better than they were last year. Um, Good on that, defense. that defense is for real, for real as, as well. And we Good don't need defense. to go into it. We'll let uh, our, our homies who are taking care of the commanders talk about them, but it's relevant as hell to this giants team, because that was also like two games that I think they were like, all right, as long as we get these two, we've got the two wins we need in the division to like make it to the playoffs. And that was what the math added up to. Right. And that's not going to be the case this year nearly as much, especially if they didn't have to play against chase young one time. So, right. Yeah. Um, I no, it's, it, the money's in fading this team, too. Dude. Yeah, I think what's, small unders. What's the what's so under six and a half? Do you have that alt up? Yeah, I'm going through the alts now. DraftKings is being a little finicky, but that that's really the way I would go here. As, under five and a half, man. Here. Yeah, I mean the most. I think the Saints are going to be better than people give them credit for. They're on the uh, the their they're schedule. They're, they're expected to be pretty good. I mean, they're they're nine and a half nice. wins, which to me is insane. Yeah. Nine and a half is a lot. It's a lot when you when you when you don't really have a quarterback. But to stick to the Giants again, seven and a half. It's minus one ten either way at Fanduel to pick up some of the alts. And again, there's my twenty nine to one to, to me. Like of all the bets we've talked about to yeah. to, to miss the playoffs, minus one ninety. A lot of people aren't going to want to tie up their money in that yeah. uh, for right or wrong. Um, but again, you can bet mo you can bet exact wins, which is an, an interesting market. Uh, minus one ninety is the safest bet. It's a great bet, I think. Again, a lot of, not a lot of people are going to want to do it, but. Uh, you can bet exact wins, and to me, that's an, an interesting way to look at it here. What do you got uh, there? When you look at the Giants, I mean, how about four wins, five twins in that range? Let's see. Anything you like here? Eight is plus 550. I wouldn't touch that. Six is five to one. Four is 10 to one. Could this team win four, go four and 13? Uh, five wins is plus 700. So, yeah, those are all interesting to me. And again, four and five both excite me. <laughs> I like that. Uh, yeah, I like that at 10 to 1. The 4 is definitely interesting. And uh, all unders to me are, are really interesting with this team too because the exact ones, you have to hit it right on the head where if you're just right and you play the all under, uh, you can you can win no matter what. And there's there, there's more wiggle room here. So let's just see what DraftKings has. And they give you some good options yeah. as we look for the Giants. I would go yeah. under 4.5 is plus 450. I wouldn't bet that. Under 6.5 plus 130. That's that's not bad, not but bad. At, 
Is it worth it for the not extra 30 it. or 40 cents just to play the seven nah. and a half? Probably not. Just take under five and, and a half, half plus 270. As much as okay. directionally, I like the all unders. They're just, oh, I think geez. the books are onto it. I think yeah. the books see the schedule. They see the injury possibility with Jones. They see how much of a fluke they were last cool, year. And they're cool, just yeah. they're not giving you the proper, the, uh, yeah. the proper payout here. For sure. No, I think we're good on that, man. Fade the Giants this year. No, yeah. they, they, they were they're just a, they were fool's gold last year, and you don't want to have to depend on that again. Like Dave, I, I I think there is something to be said that we we might be going a little bit overboard on saying that like Dable didn't have anything to do with the sort of magic that seemed to. Occur oh no, I don't him. think that at all. But I, yeah, I just... but there was the, the the he he definitely like used up a lot of his freaking fairy dust on right. that right, like on his piss pixie dust. So I, I would say they're not going to be flying this season nearly as much, and it's going to be a lot more of of them like losing the games against the Packers and the other metal middling teams that they sometimes right. beat like the Titans that that ain't gonna be the case this year the football doesn't bounce that way two years in a row man I'm sorry if you if you're relying on it yeah and, and remember even they played the Texans at home and they had a hard time putting the Texans away they needed some turnovers late like nothing was easy for them now give them credit they played Philly tough that final week when Philly when, when the Giants were resting their guys and that sh- I think that sealed coach of the year in yeah. a weird way even though they lost the game because they were playing with a uh, can't think of the backup quarterback who retired like a couple Tyron, weeks later wasn't it no no it, i'm trying mm. to think he, he got into coaching mm. uh but but they kept the game close yeah. and and they like philly needed the game for the one scene the giants were just it meant nothing for them yeah. and they still were able to keep it competitive as i'm trying to figure out who this quarterback was week 18 drive me nuts but that that's really what sealed it for him i think yeah and it was 22 16 Trying to think of who the, Davis Webb was our boy. <laughs> Thank you. Davis Webb. And they'll get 22 to 16. They were like 17 point underdogs yeah. in the game and they were competitive. They, uh, I think they had the ball late with a chance. It was, uh, I think I lost money on that game. So I'm like, oh, they're not gonna... that's why you have such good memory of it. <laughs> yeah. All right. But All that'll right. wrap it on the Giants. I uh, appreciate you guys for listening. Thank you to Sleeper. Thank you to Pickett. We will be back. See you next time.